Hey, what's going on guys? It's DJ Mojo. I'm here at the Roland booth and right behind me is this really nice controller. This is the DJ707M and I've been eyeing this for a little bit. There's so many cool features all compact in a compact size such as this and I have someone here from Roland, his name is Daniel, who's going to be talking more about it. But just for my first impressions on this, it's a nice compact controller, lots of features nice design solid weight to it it's made for mobile djs such as myself and i'm looking for a compact size controller which has all the features that i need and at the same time compact enough so i could travel with whenever i do any destination events and put this in a nice easy carry on anyways i'm here with daniel and let me have him tell you more about this controller so here i am with daniel with Roland, and he's gonna be talking about this controller DJ707M. Thanks man, so this is the DJ707M. The M stands for mobile, and what's really unique about this controller, it's 50% digital console, meaning it's like a digital mixer. You can route any of the channels. You have three individual outputs, master, booth, and zone. You can route any of the channels, even the microphones, you can route those and set it, customize it how you want, and set it to any of the outputs. You have a four band EQ for each output. You have compression, multi-band, and you have a limiter built in onto each of these outputs as well. So it really gives you that really professional sound that you're looking for. Not only on top of that, but you get up to four microphones that you can connect. You have two mics, mic control in the front over here in this upper left-hand corner, XLR on the back, and then you have this great aux in port and you have a three position switch. You have microphone, mono, or stereo, so you can plug in up to two microphones into the quarter inch outputs. You can plug in a guitar. You don't need a DI box, because these are balanced inputs. And then you have a stereo input as well. You can, you can use the quarter inch and the eighth inch jacks together. So if you want to come out from your laptop or something like that, you can do that, and it's real simple. It's a way that you can take less equipment to the gig that you're doing. On top of that, you have dual USB, and not only can you do seamless changeovers between DJs using these buttons right here, but what you can also do is hook up an iOS device using the camera connection kit, go from USB to your phone or your iPad, and you can actually play or DJ from your phone and have the audio route through the mixer here, which is really powerful, it's really innovative, and it's really the next level of trying to create a piece like this. You have an assignable effects, you have up to 16 effects that you can assign here. You have vocal effects that you can also assign over here so you can do things like what we call auto pitch, which will give you a radio friendly voice. So if you do things like auto tune karaoke, you'll be ready to go. It's really an all inclusive four channel beast, really small. You can hook up turntables or CDJs in the back with the RCA DVS inputs. This thing is perfectly built if you DJ on the go. So Daniel, and, and let me know like, what inspired this controller? Did you speak to anyone else in the, in the creation of this uh, controller? How, or how was it influenced? So we spoke to a lot of DJ associations. We spoke to guys like Joe Bunn, who are really kind of in the upper echelon in this mobile DJ space. And we, I'm a mobile DJ also. So we got all of that collective information and we put that into a compact, portable unit. This is a really light unit. It's really durable, you've got metal face, you got metal where you need it. Jog wheels are low latency, really responsive. So if you don't wanna take your turntables or your CDJs, you can still scratch with these. You've got your whole entire crossfader section, of course, adjustable curve control. But this is all designed with input from professional mobile DJs. That's great to hear. And um, how many pounds does this weigh? Is it pretty light? Or how, how many pounds would you say this is? It's pretty light. It's about eight pounds. I think I spoke with someone earlier in channel three. Is there a drum kit? Like, do you want to talk about more about, about that? Yeah, so there are actually built-in sounds onto this piece as well. So if you just wanted to use this as a mixer, as a standalone mixer, you can do that as well. But what's cool is you get something called the TR drum machine built in on channel three and how that works is there's a selection switch up here if you wanted to use Serato you you would set this to PC if you wanted to use just your vinyl or a CDJ you set it to line but if you wanted to use the drum machine you would set this switch to TR change this deck to deck three it'll turn red and now if I move this knob here I can go through a bunch of different patterns 
that are kind of preset in terms of genre. So if I wanted to kind of play a house tune, what I could do is load up a house beat. I have eight different patterns now built, pre-built onto the onto this side and it, it works exactly as if you loaded a song onto a deck. You can chain patterns as well. And the reason why you would do something like that is because maybe this is just gonna be kick drums. This is just snare drums. This is your kick snare hi-hat. And then this is a kick snare hi-hat clap, right? So you have these different sounds built into each of these different patterns. So you can either go s switch between them or you can chain between all the ones that you want to go back and forth, right? But you can also play the individual samples as well. So if you hit sampler, now you have access to play those individual sounds. So if you're like me and you have a little bit of ADD and you want to play along to the song that, that's, that's currently playing, you can just kind of hit the pads and perform that way as well. And there's also an oscillator section which are built-in sound effects. That's on deck four. So if I press this button, now I have access to all of those sounds, built-in sounds as well. That's really cool. Yeah. Uh, I think what sells me on this is just how compact it is and it really solves a lot of problems with with, uh, with mobile DJs right. and it's just sometimes we, we have to get all these little things to make it all work but I really like the mic input right there and really flexibility on the mic control and you can apply effects. Is there a talk over function here too? There is a talk over function. We call it duck. So if you press the duck button, you can set it inside. There's a screen where you can set all of those ducking features. So if I hit menu, you have these things called scenes. You have up to 10 preset scenes that you can make. And so I can go into the mixer or I can go into the microphone and I can go in and change the duck setting. So here's the duck level, right? And let's not forget uh, something that I forgot to mention up until now is that there's anti-feedback as well. So you can apply an anti-feedback algorithm. If you're doing, let's say, speeches at a wedding, you can set the anti-feedback algorithm to an, an individual output so that your speakers won't feed back during those speeches. Dude, I love that feature, dude. I, it's, I, I, I think a lot of DJs could, could use that feature, anti-feedback, and I can really see why it's made for mobile DJs. And I know the jog wheel size isn't the biggest, but for what we do, I mean, we don't really need those big jog wheels. But I'm pretty sure, like, I, I've messed with this earlier and it feels great, uh, but I think I'm gonna utilize all the other features that you guys have. So it's, uh, but I, I like the sleek design, uh, compact, and it's, it's like everything is there. So Daniel, tell me, like, how much is this going for? So this particular piece is going for $999.99. So under a thousand bucks, you get a complete piece of kit. You get up to four microphone inputs. You get an auxiliary in so you don't have to take it, another mixer with you. It's really an all-in-one solution for your sound needs at an event. Well, thank you, Daniel, for the commentary of your Roland DJ707M controller. I'm really fascinated with, with what they've done to this, and I think it's a great piece for all you mobile DJs who want to get started. I think this will last you a a great long time and just help you get started in the game with its compact size. Uh, I think the, the price point is, is really great for what it is. So yeah, definitely check this out by Roland, DJ707M. If you have any thoughts, comments, questions, leave them in the comments section down below. I'll be happy to, to chime in and give you my feedback on it. And as I'm eyeing this thing as my next DJ controller, so d definitely check them out, Roland, dj 70 7M. That's a wrap with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm DJ Mojo, saving city one party at a time. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. And watch my other videos for more covering NAM 2020. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video.